Next one in the list is Tweetcaster. Of course, without the lunch. Uh, this one is a nice one. We were surprised by this. This one is a very nice looking app. Um, the only, the biggest problem that we have with it is because it's a free app. Uh, they decided to add uh, advertisement to the bottom of it. So as you can see, you get your timeline here with all the different tweets. And on the bottom, you get uh, an advertisement. Uh, this happens throughout the application on different locations. Uh, it could get annoying, especially if you're the kind of person that do, do not like uh, ads. Uh, if you can live with it, it's a little small section on the bottom. We do like this one a lot. Um, if you want to get rid of it, um, the only thing is you have to press that X button on the bottom next to the ad and then you can remove it. But once you do that and you go back to the uh, timeline again, it will come up again. Um, you get your direct messages. Same way. Not direct messages, your timeline, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Closed it out. But it shows you, see how the ad comes up again? So every time you close it and you open it up again, you're going to get that ads. Um, you can select a tweet, and it will give you options, options to reply, reply to all, make it a favorite, retweet, retweet with comment. If you want to take a look at the profile, and then it gives you a bio of the person with the icon up on top. It gives you the location of the person, if they have a website, it will give you that website. Um, how many people are following, uh, it's up, how many people that person is following, how many followers, followers that person has, and if he has any favorites, it will be listed there as well. Um, if you select following, it will give you a list of all the people um, or users that person is following. Uh, you, from here you can go to followers and it will give you a list of users to, that are following this specific person. Um, you can also select users from here and you will also be able to view their information as well. Um, you get uh, replies, tweets, direct messages, and so forth on the user's um, profile. If they're part of any list or if they're following any list, it will be listed here as well. Um, next up, the next button up on top is replies. So any replies or any mentions will be listed here. The next one up next is messages. If you have any direct messages with anybody, it will be listed here as well. If you have any favorites, so if any tweets are your favorites, they will be listed here. And just so I can show you, say uh, I would like to make this my favorite. You see how it has a little star next to it? That just became uh, a favorite tweet of mine. If you select my favorites, that will be listed there as well. To unfavorite the, the, the particular tweet, you select it as you would do uh, with anything else and you unfavorite and then it gets removed from this list as well. As far as options, uh, there's a jump to top option. It takes you all the way to the top. So let's say you scroll all the way to the bottom, you go to menu, and this takes you all the way to the top. Um, there is, whenever you get a, a retweet, uh, something that is sent out to you by another person, you will always get it the red icon here on the right hand side letting you know that this is a retweet. Um, also, on most cases you will get a picture-in-picture -picture, uh, information. So it will show you the picture of the person that uh, you're following or, or is following you and the picture or the icon of the person that uh, was retweeted. So if the message was retweeted for this particular user it will be listed there as well. Um, you it has a filter, so let's say you're looking for a specific word on your timeline, you can type it in there, and it will show you tweets that have that particular word in it. Uh, pretty handy. 
especially when you have a lot of uh, tweets in there. Uh, there's a refresh button as well. There's a people, people section, and this is basically will give you a list of people that you're following and a list of people that are following you. And from this section, you can also select a user, and it will give you all the information you could ever need for that particular user, messages, tweets, direct messages, favorites, people are following, followers, and so forth. Pretty cool. Um, the next button up is more options. It gives you a quick follow, a refresh all, settings, exit application, and about the application options in here. If you go to settings, you get different uh, settings in general. You get themes, so it does come, the free version does come with different themes. Uh, the one I have selected is called No Bubbles and it's dark. Uh, there's a No Bubbles light section. The app will ask you to restart every time you select a different theme. But I want to show it to you. So let's go ahead and select them all. Uh, that's what it looks like. There we go. Uh, uh, let's go back to settings. Then you get your bubbles, dark. Sex it and restart so that I can show it to you. That's what that looks like. And last but not least, you get your bubbles light. So that's what that looks like. Uh, more options. You get to select the size of the font. You get to select, so if you want uh, to display full names, or display the uh, nicknames or screen names for Twitter, notification settings, background notifications, notify on new tweets, notify on new mentions, notify on DMs, vibration, uh, flash LEDs, sound, you can select the ringtone for no your notifications. Um, the service for your address so if you put in a address, uh, what kind of service you would like to use for that. Image, uh, what kind of service you would like to use for images. Uh, video services, what kind of service would you like to use uh, to upload your videos. Um, auto refresh, if you want to auto refresh. How often would you like your tweets to be refreshed? So your timeline we could be refreshed as, as quick as 30 seconds or as long as two hours. And it, there's a cool uh, option here at the end that I've only seen on this particular app. And it allows you to refresh your timeline by shaking your phone. So if you select this and you're in your timeline, you can shake your phone and then it updates uh, your timeline. It might be useful, might not be useful, but it's cool that it's there. Uh, every time you get a new message or a new tweet, uh, so you can see it will highlight uh, whatever specific section has been updated and it will type in or will show you in a bubble how many messages have been displayed since or has been updated since the last time you were in it. Pretty handy that way you can uh, know more or less how many uh, tweets or new tweets are available since the last time you were here. Once you scroll all the way to the bottom and you see them all, the number will go away. Then you get to update your Twitter account or your Facebook account from here. Um, as far as as far as uh, widgets is concerned, um, you get two different types of widgets. You get a regular small widget where you can update your Twitter account. You can change the background information on this. Uh, there's three backgrounds: uh, a dark one, a black one, like a charcoal color. You get a blue one, and you get this light uh, version of it. Uh, this is the other widget, 
uh, this one you can update your account as well you can go to your Twitter application or you get the uh, different updates here um, you can refresh this flash fast uh, fast forward your tweets or your the tweets information or you can rewind this and go back to a prior uh, tweet you can pause it if you want to get some time to read it and basically you play uh, press play again and then the application is going to keep uh, refreshing it uh, it will give you the list of it will give you the name of the user it will give you the tweet picture of the user and it will tell you uh, how long ago was it that this was uh, submitted uh, in this case this was uh, submitted three hours ago